Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to disable the startup programs or apps in Windows 10. Do you have programs on your computer that every time you start it up, they load up automatically and you don't use them all the time? Well, today we're going to show you how to fix that. It's really simple to do, so check it out. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day, and if you are new to this channel, it is all about reviews and how-tos, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today we're going to be showing you how to disable the startup programs or apps on your Windows 10 computer. This can really come in handy when you load up your computer and there's all sorts of programs that load up that you may never use or you use them once in a while. So we're going to show you how to turn those off today. And now this can also help in speeding up the startup of your computer, especially if your computer has a hard drive versus a solid state drive, you might really notice a difference in the load up time of your computer. The other thing I do want to mention is make sure you do your due diligence with what programs you're turning off because some of them you might need and not realize it. So maybe audio programs or programs that upload information to the cloud for backup. You want to make sure that you're just double checking every program that you're turning off before you do so. But let's jump over to my computer and get right into this. All right, so today I'm going to show you two methods of how to disable the startup programs here on Windows 10. And the first one's probably the easier one. So down here at the bottom left, you are going to see a search bar. And we're just going to go ahead and type in startup apps. And you're going to see an option here that says startup apps. I can go ahead and left click on that. It's going to bring up a window with all the programs that start up when my computer starts up. And like I mentioned before, make sure you do your due diligence that you're not turning off something that's important to your system running properly. So for example, the first one here is my virus protection. I probably want to leave that one on. But the second one here is Discord. It's a program I use, but on occasion, I don't need it all the time and I don't need it to start up every time my computer starts up. So I'm going to turn that one off. So there is a little toggle switch here. When I click on it, it turns off. If I did want to turn that back on, I just click on it again and it turns on. So it's that easy to turn it on and off. As I scroll through here, you're going to see audio programs, Epic Games Launcher. I don't need my video games loading up every single time I turn on my computer. So I'm going to turn that off so the launcher turns off. Um, Google Chrome, there's audio programs, the Lenovo utility for my computer, um, Microsoft OneDrive. If you have programs uploading to the cloud automatically or files, I should say, that upload to the cloud automatically, you might want to leave your OneDrive on or if there's other programs you use, if you turn that off, you might not have your files uploading when you need them to. So we're going to leave that one on today. Microsoft Teams, that's a program I use, but not all the time. And that's one of those ones that pops up every time I turn on my computer. So I am going to turn that one off so it doesn't bother me every single time. And I'm going to leave it like that. And it's that simple to turn these on and off. Now I want to show you the second method in order to do this. So back out at my main screen here on Windows, at the very bottom, in the dark area here, I am going to go ahead and right click and a menu is going to come up with an option. The third one from the bottom here, it says task manager. And if I click on task manager, it's going to bring up a window that looks something like this. Now, if it looks a little bit smaller, if it's something small like this, make sure you click on the more details button here in the bottom left hand corner. So you get all the options in the task manager. Now the option we're looking for here is the one right in the middle. It says startup. This is going to bring up all those programs that we um, looked at just a moment ago in the startup apps function. And you can see here the second column from the right, it says enabled or disabled. So you could go ahead and find the one that you want to turn on and off. So say I want to turn off this Steam client here at the bottom. I could just highlight it so it turns blue on my screen here. And in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see a little button here that says disable. If I click disable, that status is going to turn to disabled from enabled. So um, that's how you turn them on and off. And maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I want Microsoft Teams turned on. I could just highlight that one. And again, in the bottom right hand corner, just hit enable and that and it'll, will enable it right back on. So it's that easy to disable and enable startup programs in Windows 10. So I hope this tutorial on disabling startup programs in Windows 10 gave you value. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking every day because I've got tons of videos coming up that I'd love to share with you. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care.